Did you know that you can prevent unwanted submissions based on a specific date or even by a form limit? Well, let me show you how. Hey, Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for enabling and disabling your forms. Now, in this video, we're gonna cover a few of these options, so make sure you come back to this features landing page to check out everything it has to offer. So let's go ahead and jump over into my dashboard. So for this example, we're going to utilize our Black Friday form. I think a Black Friday form is a really great for this because maybe you only have a certain amount of spots for your Black Friday special. So that is going to be encompassing that form limit. And then also with Black Friday, you don't wanna send out deals after Black Friday. You want it to be before Black Friday so we can work with the date option there. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my Black Friday form and choose to edit form. Then we're gonna come up to settings and right here under form status, this is where we can really enable or disable our form. So right now it is completely enabled, but if we want, we can completely turn off the form and we can see here the warning message is this form is currently unavailable or we can put it disable on a specific date. So let's say I want this form to turn off to completely disable on let's say Saturday at 12.01 a.m. Perfect. And we can also edit this warning message as well. Black Friday deals are over. Now we can also come back up here and we can disable on submission limit. So let's say maybe I only have 50 deals available. We can change this from 1000 down to 50. And same thing, the Black Friday deals are over because our limit has been reached. We can put that in there if we want, but that is how we do it on a submission limit. But we can also do it on a specific date or a submission limit. So this is kind of where we're at. We have both working for us. So let's say we need to turn it off on Saturday and we do have that submission limit of 50. Perfect. So now we have both the date and the time. But again, depending on what your form is sharing, you can choose one or the other. And of course, once Black Friday is completely over and you're not going to be using this form until next year, you can come in here and just completely disable this form. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about enabling or disabling a form, be sure to check out that features landing page because it also is going to show you how to enable or disable form fields utilizing conditional logic. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to put it down below in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.